Hi, I'm Zap Zach here and we're here to teach you about some motors. Right now we're dealing with some 115 volt apparatus, also known as a 120, but you can see from our uh, from our nameplate here, go, to, go under voltage, 115, 208 to 230. So that means this motor is rated from 115 volts to 208 to 230. So meaning you can do single phase, 115 volts. You can also do three phase, 208, and 230 volts also goes up to three phase. So in this app, in this example, running simply our whip to our terminal block using some spades um, to connect our 14 AWG coming through. As you can see, our and the important part on a terminal block is that your lines always coincide with the opposite side. Hot here, hot here, neutral, neutral, ground, ground. Coming down through an MC here, obviously we've got a strap, 3-8 straps. You want to have that 12 inches from your box at any point in time. Come into here and per the wiring di diagram, CCW is counterclockwise and CW is clockwise. So we're trying to run in a clockwise fashion. So line number one, we tie terminal one, three, and five together. And we tie two, four, and eight together in both opposite lines. Line one would be your hot, line two would be your neutral. Um, and then once we power it up, it spins and rock and roll. One thing you do have to consider though, is obviously your full load current, which you can refer to as in article 430.250 for your horsepower and your voltage, as well as knowing your full load ampacity as well. And so you can use the Wolf method uh, found on other guys' sites as well. Uh, but it's also, you know, just a good thing to pay attention to when you are operating these things and to take your time while wiring them. Once again, this is Zap Zach, just doing a little basic motors. Thanks for uh, watching. If you guys got any questions, please ask below. And once again, please like, subscribe on IG, YouTube, and Facebook.